Hello, I'm Taryn Mento, Metro reporter for KPBS News. And today, we're talking about pot. To be exact, we're talking about medical marijuana consumer cooperatives. Californians approved the use of medical marijuana in 1996. And almost 20 years later, San Diego is finally making it happen. And this is how it works. To open a medical marijuana cooperative in San Diego, there's at least two things you need. A conditional use permit, or CUP, and a public safety permit. A CUP is needed for dozens of other projects, including daycares, liquor stores, and museums. Every CUP application, including for a medical marijuana cooperative, requires some basic documents. Proof of ownership, site plans, floor plans, but if you're a cooperative, there are a few extras. Plans must include security cameras, alarms, and guards. Storefront signs can only be two colors, no graphics. And cooperatives can't be near certain places, such as schools, libraries, and daycare centers. Applicants have to prove this with a map that shows the types of facilities and zones that are within 1,000 feet of the proposed site. Eugene Davidovich, who walks clients through the process, explains how involved this can get. You actually have to send somebody on the ground to examine the businesses within a thousand foot area after you have identified a map of all of the surrounding businesses. And with a checklist, write down every business that is in every multi-tenant building around and identify that list on a spreadsheet and present it to the city. The map, spreadsheet, and about a dozen other documents are dropped off for review at the city's Development Services Department. The application undergoes four reviews. Planning, engineering, environmental, and transportation. Edith Gutierrez, who oversees the city's cooperative permit process, explains what each division looks for. For example, the planner is looking for the distance requirements, making sure it meets the zone. Um, engineering is looking for um, ADA compliance, um, accessibility, um, driveways. Environmental is looking for you know a, um, environmental impacts and uh, transportation that it meets the parking requirements. This is when problems can arise. The applicant may understand medical marijuana consumer cooperative rules one way, while the city interprets them another way. Cooperatives must be 1,000 feet from a, quote, minor-oriented facility. But what that is, is not exactly clear. And the number of required parking spaces is also up in the air. This creates a back and forth and applicants usually resubmit their paperwork before moving on to the final step. That's when the city recommends the conditional use permit be approved or denied. Either way, it goes to a hearing officer who holds a public meeting for input, then issues a final ruling. Even if the permit is granted at this point, someone can appeal the ruling to the planning commission. The commission's decision is final. Step two is a public safety permit. It requires every cooperative employee be fingerprinted and background checked by the police department. The public safety permit must be renewed every year and the conditional use permit every five years. So that's the process. If you have any questions, which you probably do, tweet us at KPBS News with the hashtag pot permit.